A blizzard could drop over a foot of snow in many areas of the United States in the next week. Welcome to 2024, guys. My name is Austin Ayers with WFQO TV, and today we're going to be discussing why people are sharing that a blizzard could be happening next week. Now, a lot of people will find these uh, amateur meteorology weather pages on Facebook who make very scary looking maps what they will do is they will make maps that say hey we're gonna get eight up to 18 inches of snow and then what happens is they make a call a week and a half two weeks out but when you start taking a look and you start realizing that hmm why is the national weather service not saying this why is there no winter storm warnings it's because models are not 100 percent accurate and what happens is, is that these models, which are typically reserved for meteorologists and scientists and climatologists to take a peek into what may happen two weeks in advance, they use that to kind of get data, see how trends are, and see how the models actually look. You know, are they working right? Is there something that we're maybe not catching? It's things like that. What happens is, is that these amateur people, these amateur weather enthusiasts if you want to say what they will do is they will take these models they will blow them way out of proportion and then they'll say well it says it right here on this model so this is actually going to happen that's not the case so what we do see is on the models there is a chance for some extended snowfall here in the new england and northeast region and possibly in the midwest coming up into the great lakes that is very very plausible it could happen but for, for us to say, hey, this area is going to get a foot of snow, that's uncalled for. We don't know that. Uh, we truly do not know that. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Is there a chance we could see some nice size snowfall? Yeah, that is very possible. Lake effect snow, that's a big one. Mountains, any higher elevation, that's a big one as well. So, yeah, numbers may look scary saying, hey, they could get 18 inches of snow. But what they don't say is that it has a sharp decrease once you get away from those areas. Once you get away from the Great Lakes, once you get away from the higher elevations, those are low-laying flat areas. They may only get an inch or two, maybe three or four if they're lucky. But these amateur weather pages will sit there and say nope the model from the gfs the model from the euro showed this what i will say is that the gfs is not showing a massive amount of snowfall whereas the european does so there's a good chance that this could bust but you're going to be finding a lot of videos out here on tiktok and youtube and facebook and they're going to sit there and they're going to say this is going to be a blizzard share this post and they are telling you to share that post because they're able to increase their viewership and continue to spread misinformation about what exactly is truly happening and that just ruins the credibility that ruins your credibility when you start sharing stuff like that so please just just check your local national weather service page just take a peek be like Hmm, I wonder if anything's posted today. Hmm, no winter storm warning. They're not even talking about it. Okay, so just don't take it seriously, guys. Truly don't. Don't take it seriously. And uh, yeah, hopefully 2024 we can combat some of this misinformation. Be sure to hit the follow and subscribe button for no hype weather forecasting, breaking news alerts, and also we will be doing live space launches as well. Again, thank you guys. This is Austin Ayers with WFQO-TV. Never stop reporting.